you know, I quickly went to look at the guide to see what level was next, and I remember what level is next, and it shouldn't actually take too long. So I figure, you know what, why not do it tonight? So let's go. Back to the castle ruins. What could possibly go wrong? Right? Right. As soon as it decides to load. There we go. Man, this must be in the same dungeon we were in. So we should be able to just go back the same way we escaped. Oops, got bad news. We've been spotted by guard dogs. There is a lot of guard dogs. If those dogs raise a racket, it'll blow any chance a stealth we might have had. Let's take them out fast. Hint, hint, you need to actually take them out in a limited amount of turns. Give me a moment, because I know there's a secret here, and I just don't know where, and I need to pause it to remind myself, despite the fact I literally just looked at it. Found it, there it is, right there, there's a secret. If I can't get it, that's fine, because by the looks of it, it isn't too important of an item. Now, what I want to do is basically to split everybody up. Have everybody go in different directions to try and cut them all off. Because, if you look, these guard dogs are all level 1. Meaning, they're not a threat and will just actively try and live long enough to cause a racket. Dolan, you're going to be entirely useless in this level. Actually move over there. And turn over. Where are they going? Where are they going? They all appear to just be retreating into the corners. Except that guy. That guy seemed not. Like actually took a step towards us. Which is interesting to say the least. It just looks like they're all just running away to the corners. Make sure you cut off their retreat. Well, first we gotta get close enough to them. You know. Flint can actually kill one. Hurt. Take that. 62 experience? Really? Really? They're a level 1 guard dog. What the hell, game? What drugs are you on? Where can I get some? I don't necessarily know where their retreat is. Alright, can you possibly... most likely... There's a problem with you starting in the very middle. Let's go. They are continuing to retreat to the corners. Those two up on the hill, not moving at all. Keep going. And go. And go. Damn it, Dolan. Of course, I have to send you through the area where you j have to jump as well. That doesn't help at all. 
and our one archer, who would probably be the most useful person right now, can't shoot at a single person. That's one. Did that say 62 or 82? I only saw it pop up for a very moment. And you can just fly all the way over there. Butterflies in the sky and all that. Right, you can shoot from here. Yes, you can. <laughs> Highly out the other one was 82, so I'm just gonna go with 62 because that one was 56. There is so many dogs over here. Just at least kind of lining up for us. If we had a mage, they would be pretty nasty right now. Be able to hit three people right now, right there. We're running out of time. We're trying our best. You can actually go hit somebody. Good. Thirty-five. Why are you only getting thirty-five? And some other people got sixty-two. Dolan, useless as ever. However, you can hit somebody. Okay, that's another dog. 53 experience. Another level up. Clint, I don't think can hit anybody. But you see, we can hit four dogs in the next turn. Hit all five dogs in the next turn, I think. I'll do is have Diego fly over here, attack this one, block the other one, and move forward so Grog can hit that one, and Diego can go get the secret item. See, they're just kind of moving around and making it difficult for people like Dolan to do jack. Dolan, can you move up to someone? Of course not. God damn it. Can you... Ooh, no. You can move to hit somebody. That's something. left is a single dog. Which you just move and attack, and that should be it. Yay! And that was the level. That was literally the level. Can you see why I wanted to do it? Right now. Alright. 
And there's a little bit of story as well. Oh, ho, ho. Try to be strong. Oh, lady, I was such a fool. <laughs> I sent my men to their deaths for what? It's not your fault. You were possessed. I wish that were so. The magic stone is a good or evil. It's only pure power. It just magnifies the user's true, na true nature. When I touched the stone, I felt its powers. I was seduced by my own demons. I let the power consume me. It's all my fault. Why, Father? Why did you look for this stone? To resist hell, Spite. I'm certain that hell is planning a coup to die in the near future. I knew that in order to stop him, I needed more power. I was desperate, and that de desperation led me down the wrong path. We must get the stone back. It holds a frightening secret. Why did they still let people like Huxley have his giant claws in jail? Someone's coming! Ash! Ash, how did you... Forget about it, let's just get out of here. Waiting. More expedition. Exposition. Exposition. Wait, I have to get the magic stone. The person pulling dull strings is hell spites. We can't let that madman get his hands on the stone. So you finally caught on, did you? Oh, it's actually, I believe, hell spites. Yes. But you're too late now, Magnus. What do you mean? I've got that stone you want right here. A grunt like you can't appreciate the true power of this stone. But I, on the other hand... Your pampered little poodle! He does kind of look like a pampered little poodle. That fancy cape and long, flowing hair. You know what that stone was going to do to me, didn't you? You reap what you sow, General. You came here to betray me, and you deserve what happens to you. That means that we're just part of your scheme to frame General Magnus? Oh, exactly. I'm disappointed in you, Ash. Your feelings led you the wrong way. Not that it would have mattered anyway. Let me introduce you to my beautiful young assistant. Dun, dun, dun. See, it, it did that for me. Kira. Kira, how could you? Kira, Kira, how could you? I, I turned into Magnus for a moment, excuse me. Thanks to her, I knew all of your moves. <laughs> well, I think it's just about time for you to die. I won't allow that! Apparently he still has some resi residual power even without the stone. Magic duel. Magic duel of magic. What's going to happen? I don't know what's happening. I press a button and nothing's happening, so I'm guessing I'm just waiting for something to happen. You still retain some power from the stone? I will stop you. No, return a hole in the space time fabric! Did he just say what I think he just said? I think he just said what I think. I think he just said what I think he just said. What is it? Not enough power. Power level is not high enough. Ash! And Grog! And Sarah! Apparently going with him. Everybody else just hanging back. Just hanging back. <laughs> I'll stop now. Isle of Madness ended.
I'm like, oh yeah, this is actually the end of the chapter, meaning there's going to be plenty of story. After the disappearance of Ash and the others, it is announced that General Magnus has been assassinated by an extremist faction within the security forces. News that a national hero has fallen at the hands of terrorists sends shockwaves through the country, and most blame the domestic security agency which controls the security forces. This results in the ouster of Ronaldo Castillo, Hell spikes his political arch rival. Defense Minister Hell Spites, highly praised for his quick handling of the terrorist threat, is elected Prime Minister the following month. Exactly what he wanted. In the name of national security. Hell requests emergency powers from the Council, but as soon as he is granted those powers, his tyrannical nature emerges. He abolishes the Council, creates a secret police, and establishes a privileged class. Finally, he revives Imperialism and claims that he will place himself on the sacred and inviolable Ishtarian Imperium. Realizing the danger, some citizens join anti-imperial movements, but these are easily crushed by the Crimson Guard. It was the second coming of the Dark Ages, and terror reigned over all. Now, I, I just don't have a couple questions that makes it rather interesting. How is he given enough power to abolish something and people actually go with it? Because you'd figure a single man abol that'd be like the president having enough power to abolish the Senate. I don't think it would go over well at all. Like, he would basically have an instant revolution on his hands. Wouldn't you think? Maybe? Are people not. Are people actually smart enough to realize that would be entirely stupid? Because, you know, that's just giving him absolute power. Why would anybody go along with that? Why would the standard, you know, military soldier... I mean, yeah, the Crimson Guard is under Kane and all that, but why would the standard soldier go with that? I don't... T to me, that's just kind of a slight plot hole, but not really, because it comes down to human nature and, you know, what people would actually do in that situation? Would they just sit back and do jack all and sit on their butts? They might do that in the modern age, as we have now, but, you know, I think things meant a lot more back then when there wasn't as much entertainment as we have now to keep us occupied. So there you go. Little bit of uh, sudden exposition for myself there. But now we probably get a little bit more story. Half of this video is story. Where in the heck are we? I don't think we're in Kansas. Ha! 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 Breaking the fourth wall jokes. Dang it, Ash. Ash, something's wrong with the general. General, hang general, hang in there. Ash, it's no good. It's the end for me. I'm an old man already. General, no. I've stared death in the face all my life. I know what she looks like, and I do not fear a cold embrace. I was raised in a poor farming village. I was going to lead the simple life to follow in my father's footsteps. 
But then the revolution came and our lives were thrown into turmoil. For country, for ideals, for liberty. But however pretty the slogan, there's no such there's no such thing as a good war. They call me a hero, but I'm just a murderer with blood on his hands. But think of the people you save, like a lady. A lady. Fifteen years ago, I found her wandering the ruins of her town. Adopting her was my attempt to make restitution for my sins. Ash, don't make the same mistakes I made. You must stop Hell and Dolph. Return this land to its former greatness. I beg you, Ash, retrieve the magic stone. General, G General Magnus, he's gone. doesn't look like a place that has any trees. Too bad we had to bury him in this weird place. Hmm, something feels very wrong. Oh god, there's, a, there's another battle already. I'm gonna have to pause the video midway and end up doing this video because I don't think I could... Well then, maybe I could use a save state. I think I might use a save state. Just to have a save so that way I can go to give my throat a break and go to sleep. What are these things? I don't know, but they're attacking us. They look like angry flames. However, we are fighting said angry flames. And next time, we only have three people, so there isn't as many. There's, um, five? Five. Not too bad. I think I'll just have everybody kind of circle around this, because I don't think there is any secrets here. But, but that is for next time. So until then, see you later.